Kyrie, uh, game one to game two, what did you see as the differences or maybe adjustments that Boston made in, in trying to take you out of your rhythm tonight? Uh, I mean, they, they definitely made a run in, the, in that second half. We, we felt pretty confident going into halftime, um, and we talked about it just coming out in that third quarter with a little bit more uh, pop, uh, especially on the defensive end. Felt like we made things difficult in the first half, uh, kept some of their guys, some of their primary scorers to be in certain spots, just trying to corral them as best we could. Um, and then in the fourth quarter, they made some tough ones. Uh, they got going. Um, you know, they had a good, good bench showing tonight. And uh, you know, when you got what, seven guys in double figures, you know that that definitely shows you that it's a team game out there. They played with cohesion um, and some poise down the stretch. So, did they do anything defensively to take you off of your rhythm? No, I, I just think I, I came into a nice game, uh, really evaluating the way they were going to play me. And a few shots went in and out, um, you know, and, and just getting to my spots, raising up, felt comfortable. Didn't get to the free throw line as much as I wanted to tonight. Um, didn't touch the paint as much as I wanted to tonight. And, you know, it's just part of the film that I'm going to watch and, and see where I can continue to attack this defense. Um, you know, Emay knows us really well. You know, he coached on our staff last year. So um, I think he has some keys in the treasure chest that he's telling those guys and, um, you know, this is what makes it special, though, on the on the flip side is just being able to to find some uh, weaknesses in their defense and get their bodies moving. And uh, when they're on the swivel, when, you know, we have the ball popping and they're on the swivel and they have to close out to our drives, I feel like we're a better offensive team. But, um, again, uh, it, it just starts with the little details and, and to make sure we cover up for one another. Kai, this is a twofold. Even before you came back full time, the – Sometimes closing quarters has been an issue for this team. Mm -hmm. In your mind, that run, whatever, you're up seven late in the third where they go on a run and never trail again. What were the two or three biggest keys where it kind of got away there? Uh, man, well, I, I think when, when you're out there playing, it, it just feels a little bit different, you know, in terms of uh, just watching uh, the flow of the game, the rhythm of the game change. Uh, the momentum shifted in that moment where we're up seven and then uh, I think it was a foul call and they hit a three and uh, they closed it they closed that margin and then we're going back and forth and then it, it ties and then um, they take the lead and they never look back in that fourth quarter uh, I just think they did a great job of uh, limiting us to one shot per possession capitalizing off our turnovers which they do really well um, and they didn't have as many tonight off our turnovers, but uh, they were just timely. And when you get in transition and, and you get Jalen Brown going downhill and then Marcus Smart making plays, and then um, you got guys crashing offensive glass, it just makes it difficult. And secondly, you just mentioned coming in here that talking at halftime, coming out with even more intensity in the third quarter was kind of a, a point of emphasis. Mm -hmm. And when Steve was just in here, he was saying he thought that the intensity dropped going into the third quarter. I mean... Understanding what the stakes are, I mean, how disappointing is that for the intensity to kind of go? Do you agree with that assessment, and how disappointing is it for it to drop at that point? To be honest with you, we don't really have time to be disappointed um, and to hold our heads. This is this is part of uh, playoff basketball and learning your team and being in these situations where uh, we can have some carryover into the next one. Uh, but coming out in that third quarter, we talk about it, and uh, I'm not – I don't want to say I'm not sure, but we, we just got to be better moving forward uh, coming out of that, that halftime and, and knowing that when we have the lead and, and against a good team or a great team like Boston, we, we just got to take advantage of it. So uh, I think I agree in part with that assessment with Steve, you know, in terms of our intensity. But, um, you know, us as players on the court, we got to control that and, and uh, rise to the occasion. It's just simple as that. Kyrie, what do you think you need to do to get Kevin rolling again from the field? Uh, we shot 20 free throws. Um, <laughs> you know, that, that doesn't happen often. Um, and, and I don't want to just put it right on Kev uh, because it's a, it's a team game. And I, and I think we, we really want to focus on our team cohesion and building that. And that's been, uh, you know, part of our, our points of emphasis uh, in the locker room and during practices is, is just raising our level of physicality, staying together through some tough moments. Um, you know, realizing that when our intensity is not at a certain level, we're just not playing the same. So it's not all on Kev. I think, you know, for myself, I, I can I take accountability. I think everybody, in, in, you know, on our team takes accountability. But for him specifically, I think as, as a PG, um, I just got to get him to his spots and, and make the game a lot easier. And um, I believe I can do that uh, with the assistance of, my, of the coaches and, and just 
having a game plan to attack this, you know, this defense. You know, we're going against no one team in defense in the league. They've proven it. So uh, it's not going to be easy, but it, it can be done.